So I'm Morgan and Asa from the film X and Y. Um, I want to ask you first of all, Morgan, um, it's based on something that you made before, a documentary. Can you tell us when in that process did you think it would make for a good feature film? Well, I don't think whilst I was making the documentary that I realised that. Um, I, was, uh, I was so kind of absorbed in the world that, that, that I was filming. Um, and, uh, but it really was quite special and the people that I encountered were wonderful characters. And the whole world of the International Mathematical Olympia, to me, um, was, was a fascinating one. Um, but it was also about the dynamics and the relationships that were going on around that that actually proved um, for me, the, the most um, rich in terms, of, in terms of a source, if you like, of inspiration for, for making X plus Y. Um, but it wasn't until further down the line, maybe a year or two after finishing that, um, that I began discussing the idea of turning it into a feature film. Um, but again, because those, those rich foundations gave me, I suppose, the inspiration to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, is it based on, I mean, obviously the basis would be the original documentary, but were there any of the other films, uh, documentaries that you made also a source of inspiration? Well, to, to an extent, I think every documentary that I've made is in some way a, an inspiration um, uh, for, for making a feature film. And that's partly just because of the experience that you have in in, in you know, talking with, spending time with real people and, you know, and, and just experiencing um, what's going on with them and understanding them and, and, and filming those situations. And, and somehow that feeds into the process of making a feature film because part of it is about achieving something that feels authentic, um, something that feels, uh, 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 something that tells a story because in documentary you're always you're always telling a story and actually casting is very important in documentary people don't necessarily think about that when they think about documentary but you need to have great characters and a story and those are the foundations of a feature film so so really uh, you kind of um, or I was I suppose bringing quite a lot with me quite a lot of baggage um, into the feature film world. Excellent and now Asa um, we've heard about the authenticity and getting real people on screen how did you go about researching your character of Nathan? Um, it was, a, it was a quite long process of research and uh, I mean prior to this I knew very little about the topic and so for me it was uh, it was also a really educational experience um, and me and Morgan both talked about the character because there's no defining trait for people on the spectrum um, it can be as a wide range of, uh, of effects and it was a case of finding where we wanted to place Nathan and I spoke to lots of young adults who were on the spectrum and learned about the difficulties they had and some of the hardships uh, they had growing up. Um, not only that, but learning about the specific uh, traits that were most common, I guess, among people on the spectrum. And all of the information was invaluable to creating the character. Mm -hmm. Now Morgan mentioned some of the baggage that he felt he might have brought to the project. Um, did you feel any of that when you were, you were on set? Did you feel my baggage? Eh? <laughs> uh, not, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was quite a fresh, uh, fresh start for me for this um, because the character is so different from myself. It allowed me to almost start from a blank slate, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And the intensity of the IMO, International Mathematics Olympiad, um, how, how did you go about capturing? Yeah, no, it was a tough one. International to Mathematical Olympia. Olympia, yeah. um, Mathematical Olympia. There we are. Um, how did you go about recreating that? And I mean, how big a, an event is this? Well, it's a very, it's a very big event, and it attracts um, teenagers from nearly a hundred countries. Um, and uh, teams of six, so you've got about six hundred kids um, in a room doing doing the competition, um, and they're all uh, very top 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 level um, in terms of their ability. Um, but in terms of recreating it, there was again we worked with uh, the the actual Olympiad um, team and uh, the people who are in charge of that competition. And one of those um, is a man called Jeff Smith, who was in the original documentary and was the UK team leader. Um, we also had a, a mathematics consultant, um, a, a, a young man called uh, Li Zhu Zhao, who was one of the original Olympiad team members, British team members, um, who was in the documentary, and he was our consultant. And between them, 
and, a, and another, another man called Joseph Myers, who was also involved with the Olympiad team, um, they made sure that everything that we were doing felt authentic and correct. And certainly all of the maths in the film, um, I'm told, uh, is, is authentic. And I think some mathematicians experience problems with films that have a, a mathematical context, if you like, because often the math that's on the board is not... Uh, it doesn't stand up to scrutiny, it's lots of equations and things, but it's either gobbled, gobbledygook or it's not relevant to the kind of mathematics that they would be studying. And for us it was very important that the math was, was all in, authentic, but also that the experience of the competition felt real as well. So everything from the, the logos to you know, the, 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 cost, the, the shirts that people are wearing, it all um, has its foundation in the, the reality of that competition. Excellent. And um, I also, I mean, I thought the end of the film was fantastic because you build up this finale where I thought I knew where it was going and then you veer away from that. And I, I don't want to give away any spoilers by going into any more detail, but how, how brave a decision or how big a decision was that not to focus on what we'd been building up to for such a long time? Well, it's interesting because I, I never really, I, I don't really, really think I thought of it like that. And, and, you know, in terms of our expectations of where the film was going and then doing something different with that. Um, but it, for me, this felt it felt like the natural way um, to end the film because of what's going on with Nathan and the conclusion that he comes to. He's trying to work out a big problem and he realises that the problem is maybe not mathematic, a mathematical one. It's all of the other stuff that he's found difficult to understand, which is all of the emotional stuff that he's locked away since he experienced a very, uh, since he had a very traumatic experience as a, as a boy. So through the course of the film, this stuff comes back up, and he realises that he realises that that's the stuff that he needs to work out. Excellent. And so one final question for you: What was it like filming on those amazing locations that we see in the film? It was brilliant. Uh, going to Taiwan, uh, it was the first time I'd ever been. To that part of the world and I think for all of us it was a great experience because uh, not only is culturally is it so different from us but just the setting and the the backdrop to the film is so unique and uh, I think it fits perfectly to the music and the cinematography it all really works well in Taiwan and uh, it's brilliant. Excellent okay thank you thank you very Good much. Good stuff Cheers. thanks. Ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!